Perfecto. We message. Greetings, Master Diviner. Ask me to wait for you. It's about time. Can't go. I'm busy. Right now. Okay. What does that mean? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? Probably. It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. Use the photo you receive on your phone. Okay. Oh, just right Hurry here. Up, Ching -Chua. We'll be fossils by the time you're finished. Oh, Ching -Chua. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Ching -Chua. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. Okay. It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? <laughs> Isn't this okay. hand a problem? I have the worst luck. I can tell just by looking at you that you're the divination. Okay. We have to look now. You bring us here just for this? I'm just gonna say that. I know, yeah. I know, I'm sorry. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but. From the realm keeping commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind! Oh, yeah, she's like a gambler, that that's, that's why. Fun too? Better to show you the real exalting sanctum and introduce you to a true Sam Joe pastime Celestial Jade! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> Now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. Right, guess we're just gonna follow. I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this Celestial Jade game has stoked my curiosity. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You clearly right. have excellent taste. This way. If you're interested, I can show you how to play. It's great fun. Sure. Mr. Yang, is this really the best time? Let's go on the space anchor as well. Ah, oh, right. look. Is that oh, a... Okay, guess we're getting to the cutscene now. It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo La Fu's prized treasure. The prized I treasure? The Skyfaring Commission were history buffs? Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens, and from it, celestial bodies hung. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky, and stars hung from its branches. So, well, how Wait big explains was it? it pretty well, bigger for than us to express? understand, at least. Bigger than Herta Space Station? 
No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then how did it fit in the Sienjo? I don't know. Uh, I'll just say it sounds like an unimaginable magnificent tree. Exactly. Let's just say it was bigger than your imagination. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go. So where are we going now? The same thing. Oh, maybe this is a short cutscene. Was it actually part of the story? I don't believe in ghosts. Need your extractor cleaned or your stars? We're almost there, everyone. Stay close. Yes, I see it. Let's just go on this boat. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. What else can Maybe I... the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention... What's it like? Easy, not so bad so far. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Yeah. Oh, got a puzzle. Let the navigation come this way. Beats and there's another one on the opposite side too. Beautiful. Perfect. No match for me. More battle for treasure. Level one. Okay, we're already almost there. I definitely have the right team for me. So strange. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? What a surprise. I don't understand, it's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests. <laughs> Are you really from the Divination Commission? I said, is it possible you were fired? No way. She's already demoted me to managing the repository. What else does she want from me? Maybe you are There's fired. There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't go. the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Of course, we gotta do one of those. Go around. Here it is. You seem familiar. Is this where you come to avoid doing work? You're pretty sharp. Divination Commission staff call this the Loafing Gate. <laughs> when That's there's nothing to, to do, it. we often sneak out from here and spend a few hours lazing around outside. 
Maybe that's why you got let go because they found out. A few hours? <sighs> Do you have any vacancies? Okay, stop. Let's uh, do this puzzle. Let's begin. Let's get to this one now. Ugh, around corrosion. What's going on? Are you sure you did a way Great. back? Great. This gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Chinchu for messing up once again. I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's well, whatever she, she does, it's like a gamble in the way. If you use a skill, you know, it's a gamble. If you don't mind, and perhaps probably her look. personality as well now. Huh? No need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. What is she gonna show us? I love the side entrance with Jingwei hints. I don't have to repair. Jade Abacus Substrate System developed by Astin Artisanship. Commission new the completing module with sub four sub routines stored in them to bases with corresponding patterns so the substrate can function There we go. That's what we're supposed to do. That's actually that difficult. Oh, you're amazing, Mr. Yang. You handled that well for an outsider. Hey, I did I that. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate to you. Mm, I think he doesn't want that key anyway. We're gonna fight. Uh, anyone here surprised? Anyone? Here comes trouble. Guess not. To them for a change? Of course, let's do this. Or the battle. Hey, God, imagine that this is what I needed. Your end approaches. Savor it for me. They play the help. Even though he's just uh, windy. Just a little something. Definitely easy heal. the end of the story in your own way okay uh let's go that way oh. 
bis ich habe Recover. Ich habe ein right here. Maybe this. Oh, is that a crane one? You guys take me back out. But I got company. I'll be back. Where are you gonna take me now? Okay. Oh, door lock. Easy. Wait, hey, hey, that way. Good wrong way, man. It's not odd that I had to guide you, but at the same time, I don't know where you're supposed to drop the package off. Thank you. Okay, let's continue on with the quest. Hmm. What are we gonna do now? Hey. No, that's not who I thought it was. Matrix of Prescience, a large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. Okay. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Chingchu? A Jade Abacus is just... A Jade Abacus. <laughs> oh, that's a good uh, take the obvious. Take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. The book, Glimpses into the Beyond, describes it as living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation, so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. So you kind of like predict the future using example. people's past. As long with as sufficient the information abacus. is provided, it can answer questions on anything, from the evolution well, it's just a of natural phenomena right? to the metabolism well, of get living data things. Data from the past. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound oh, that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. So they're just microchips. It sounds like similar technology. Maybe we'll get a better understanding if we see the manufacturing process with our own eyes. Well, of course. I'm afraid that's impossible. The Artisanship Commission's Hall of Jadeology keeps a close watch over the jade carving process. But if you're interested, there's a shop selling jade abacus jewelry in Starskip Haven. I can show you around when I'm free. <laughs> Did you hear that? She said she's taking Mr. Yang jewelry shopping. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a jade abacus or a computer? Just like today, would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience. Technically, Clara. it would. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Like a bit. Well, it depends. Like, and if it could happen. <laughs> Push one. And Diviner do you want? Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the Heaven and Thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak, Fushen? <clears throat> it 
It's an utter disaster. How's that for a divination commission fortune? The matrix of prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the matrix of prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fushen, this year, the boundless omniscient, bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look, well, should be safe. just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? <laughs> well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Make use of them? What way, huh? Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. In a good way or Chinchua bad way? Is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. Yeah, of course. Because she's a gambler. Uh, I say, I thought you... I say glad to have us as your errand runner, aren't you? It's nice to have people I can entrust with difficult matters. I'm not like the general, and you don't even belong to my commission. I certainly won't be bossing you around. We'll see about no that. No need for the formalities. We heard what the general said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well, then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience's space terminals. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Were we be breaching Tian Zhou's secrets in the process? Yes, but you needn't worry. You have my permission. Xing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... Psst. <clears throat> I have divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. To say the magic word. What? Which magic word? <sighs> the universal one? Please? <laughs> oh. uh, please. Oh, good enough. Okay, help the Divination Commission to restart the matrix of prescience. Three base terminals. Okay. Oh, just a bit there. Shifting screen, what's that? In a short, this is teleportation device. Okay. Let's see. Teleport. Huh. Oh, that's convenient. Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. Observes the potential of the temporal plane. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. Nice. Okay. Oh, activate. Activate these two. Mature. Mature. Magnus. 
Large scale chain calculation table use to calculate shipping routes and predict future events. Okay, had to light up this that looks like underground. It seems simple enough. Oh, just like that. Oh, there we go. Let's try. That should do it. No, oh, what? You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Don't you think? Oh, if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. Okay, restart the sp spatial terminal and come. So I've got to teleport to those one to you, I'm assuming. Let's start with the left, the left one. I could repair it first. Oh, I just think again. Oh, I get it. Must be the karma terminal. They say this terminal is designed to establish the causal relationships between objects. Okay, activate base term. Okay, it's a bit complicated now. Probably this one goes there. Oh, pick up. That one goes there. Let me put down. One more to go. Done. Next. We're gonna fight that too. That was a bit trickier than the other ones. Well, at least I got it. But let's do it in the way. Oh, what the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. Oh yeah, it does. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the C and Joe. It's an aromaton. It's guarding the Matrix of Prescience. They're stationed oh. at various strategic places. I feel like it needs a sign saying "Mortals Forbidden" or something. Well, are, are we? You sure I think we need a sign. To just look at it. You already know. We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the Matrix of Prescience. Friends, not foes. Passage prohibited. Uh, March. You should join the Divination Commission. Quick, do something! 
Okay. Have a fight. Oh, I've got blade. I'm healthy. But not the other two. Oh, I'm hitting the too strong. Okay, let's have more enemies. Oh no, look, I had Blaze Ultimate ready too. That's better. Okay, now I do. It for me. Oh, that's the way is down. So I did get the hatches getting in time. Okay, hit the sink up. Okay, all good. But need him with the ratio though. Oh, never mind. Oh, this is space anchor right there. And one more puzzle. Time, karma. I bet the next terminal is energy related. Space school? The spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. Definitely. Without your explanation. Okay. Let's do that. I know, put it down. There we go. That was so easy. Ugh, we did it. All three terminals activated. Let's go back to the core and report to the Master Diviner. There you are, Master Divine. Well done, all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient Symbols re-illuminating. Now, to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few... impacts. What kind of impacts? Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> Is this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. Well, you say lots of things. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny. Oh, okay, cutscene. cannot be wrong I say what did you see Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron but you it's you wait what oh yeah <laughs> absurd I'd never have thought it Tell us what's going on. As for yourself, take as long as you wish. I must report this to the general immediately. Please excuse me. Q. 
you go ask her. I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Definitely. I do. Words, well, wood sprouts, a new fate tells Eski. Okay. Guess I'll turn alone. Hi. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. See, don't act like we're friends. <laughs> Fine, if you prefer. Not friends. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Well, what is your objective? Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General. Presumably to inform him of this fact. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? We're here for you. You're lying? Or us? I said you're lying. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. That's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the La Fu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor that way in the future at the most critical moment the Sienjo will offer you their help what do you think? surprised? the notorious Stellaron hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Sienjo? quite the plot twist don't you think? 
What is this feature you're talking about? Like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Yeah, knowing the right nice thing spider. at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. Another scene hey, now? Susha, Lucha. Or Lucha. Keep going. It's interesting. So, eons can die, huh? Weird. I, I thought they were invincible. How was here. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Xianzhou? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Isn't destroying the Eon Yausha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Oh, this one? <laughs> it's a casket. More commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. The deceased? Wait, what? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked yeah. to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. That's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star skiffs and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyodora, they're more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. My mom calls the Vidyadara long scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyadara could turn into dragons. I don't know if that's true. Oh, 
I'd say only special with a young Hana contained dragons. Well, I think that's better than saying it to you. Speaks. Your mother is right. The Fidiadava are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Ah, I've heard the story of Long the Permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Every life has its limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? <laughs> yes. Friend? No. So, uh, the sweetheart? <laughs> oh, miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Okay. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. Oh, he's sick down now. Tranquil at Miss Turmoil. Okay. I got Lucha and Shushan with me. Well, I don't really like Shushan that much helping play, but Lucha, he's good. He's like a good best healer. Of Change character. It's good. Receive divinity. Oh, that <laughs> Pretty damn good. Okay, get me here. Mara struck. It looks like someone's hurt. Wait, who's that? Let's think before we act. We're just gonna act every way. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <sighs> what happened to us letting you handle it? I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. Miss, are 
you okay? What do you think? Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. Wait, My puppet. motor is broken. Who's I that? I can't move. Wait. Are you a Shrink, you right? I don't even care. Good. Take me to the Realm Keeping Commission. I, uh... Locha, silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Well, it's just... she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, oh, but yeah. it shouldn't be too oh, yeah. painful. Yeah, I see that was hilly. Do you think you can hold still? It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. <sighs> huh. Curious. Uh, how... What kind of medical knowledge is this? Abundance. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. We, uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. Why? I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. <sighs> if it hadn't been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. Strange accident? What kind of accident? Huh. Come with me. Go to Swaggy and examine the strange things happening. I've never seen anything like it. What's that? You know, even eons can be killed. How could an eon possibly be killed? Is it see? so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeron the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm? His names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated. By Shipe the Harmony. Two. In a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeronth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the abundance. 
So, Bessie and Joe, too, are engaged in this process. Hmm. Why does Jin Joe want to kill the Abundance? As far as I know, the predecessors of the Alliance were the Elixir Seekers. They searched for Yaosher and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the Eon, they received the blessing that did indeed prevent death, the Ambrosial Arbor. But immortality turned out to be a curse for the Sienjo. That's when the hunt appeared, firing an arrow and felling the Ambrosial Arbor. Ever since, the Alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of Yaosha, erasing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Why are you telling me this? Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. Hmm. <laughs> Spoil your oil. Ooh. Okay. Let's go, Blady. Let's play. Two more places to visit. <laughs> Did Kafka escape? Uh, how are we going to explain this to the Master Diviner? Uh oh. If what she said is true. We won't have to explain anything. Hey, did she brainwash you? Not that I know. Find Fushan, Ching Yuan, and report them about the Ambrosio Arbor Strange Resurrection. So I assume we can use this teleporter here. This thing one. But that's not Wasn't Fushuan. this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? Yeah, How it was. Did it grow all of a sudden? Oh yeah, that's what it was. <gasps> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky. Maybe someone applied a strong fertilizer. Oh, such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes, the Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Okay, it's lock control panel. Oh, it's right here. I'm an idiot. Pay you first. Oh, this way. 
Okay, it's no longer the safe zone, and I'm going away from the destination to be at. Where are you taking me? Let's go take you guys out first. Just pretty as easy. my calculations well, could figure have played. <laughs> hey. There you are. Okay, I gotta get back that way now. Or just right there. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fool. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lofun. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strike, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. That shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellarog. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Coming up with a plan again. Of course, course I <laughs> I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mm, as ever, the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control, and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands. And the Stellaron Hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way?
This is an awkward situation. Oh, that massive tree has suddenly sprung to life. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the general. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people in the law food? You... Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions, plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends... I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Orders received. Anyway. This is no order, honored guest. <laughs> I am merely stating what needs to be done should you wish to help us. You've never really seen us as outsiders, huh? Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty-bound. Bit farewell to for sure. Okay. Bye-bye. forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Sienjo is difficult to define. Mm, I'm sorry. Have cut a I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. Are you leading forces into the Alchemy Commission? From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sienjo's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron Spears may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. The General wants us to go to the... Artisanship Commission. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the Artisanship and Alchemy Commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The Star Skiff is ready. I will lead the way. Okay, follow. One zero one zero one zero is the way. I still have important tasks from the general to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! 
divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Guess not. I'm sure it's nothing we can't manage. Let's well go. said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. Let leave the mission and skip off to the artisanship commission. I think it's a puzzle I just missed that I just realized. Huh? Look at all the people gathered here. Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken star skips to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. Maybe they're here to welcome us. <laughs> that's it! First you arrive out of the blue, then the general recruits you to the cause. It's like the stories where Imperial heroes bring salvation to the world. Still, it doesn't look like they're rolling out the red carpet. We might be getting ahead of ourselves. The Artisanship okay. Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. Coming Atlas and Twine Horns. Up there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Another Never block gate. gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. A warm reminder, benefactors. That the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sienjo as the Divination Commission. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet thousands of light years away. It's law breaking you time. Be this enthusiastic when it's jail sentencing time? I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. Oh, wait. Ask about the situation. Let's do that first. Let's ask this guy away. Master Gong Shu. Oh, are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Hmm. 
Why in the moon, the knight in shining armor is here to rescue you. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jin Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the general invited you? Is that a joke? The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? I say, what are you doing out here? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. What happened in There's there? There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? You should leave. The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Xu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Did Dan Yi try to stop him? We didn't have time. We were scrambling for our lives. If I had an extra pair of arms, maybe I could have tried. I just heard him shout, It's gone! We lost the furnace! By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, take this jade seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him... Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? Okay, what are we doing? This way. I'm dead. Back. The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. to investigate and we'll get down there first there's enemies in the way upon commission grounds your feet to tread leave from whence you came or soon be dead dead who's that stay away if you come any further I'll not spare you Yep. Just 
can't play for you, Pete. An evil is fun by hands unseen, unknown. No long. If the security mechanisms didn't teach you a lesson. Beat it before you finish the course of conversation. Illumination, dragonfish. Are you all right? Wake up. I raise you like my own flesh and blood. <gasps> Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation. Uh, you didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason. Are you Mr. Gongshu? Uh, how do you know my name, child? Does the reputation of Gongshu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? Uh, this guy is pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gongshu. Really? The general sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession, the Creation Furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then I couldn't just run away, knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. We're short on time. Where are we going? Who are we fighting? I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment, aid my plight. <laughs> come, come on, <laughs> through here. Okay, I guess we gotta follow him. Show that first. Ooh, what happened here? Okay. Look, this is one of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes. The shifting screen. <laughs> Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The shifting screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Like teleportation? Indeed. With limited range and energy costs aside, to every star skip soon shall woe be tied. Are you sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither. But through Earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting screen entangled vents and coils. Wait, what? Thanks for the colorful explanation. Bye. Hold on! Have some faith in me. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Ah! Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong? Your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. 
It's a mechanical device codenamed the Lumen Flux Pixis. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? <laughs> Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the Tree Demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! Okay, so you got... Oh, so these are... Ambor... Ambrosial... Abor... Arbor branches... Walking past... Okay, let me use that commission... Let's see how it is... Uh, just this. Just piss it out there. Time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. Okay, other side. To go to the pot then. Doesn't seem so bad so far. Oh, I've got the space that we can right here. Maybe. Arbor's roots. No, oh, they've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace. Okay. Help me, dear young friends. Let's hack them away together. We can't let the roots punch through the furnace. Maybe we can't let that happen for sure. Careful, it's changing. <laughs> Right. 
happy. Next time. Just a little something. Nice teamwork. Your answers? A blade knows no fear. Come. Healing? No matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. Yeah, not fair. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. Guess we're gonna find our way to beat her. But can we retreat? Oh, guess <sighs> we can. Huh, no wonder the Sienjo is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Well, it can't be Miss invisible. Yun, are the long life species on the Sienjo all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Sienjo don't have abilities like this. Huh? As long as it's there. We can't get any closer. I wonder. It's tough. The Evan Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. So if we follow the roots, we can find the source of its power. Uh, yeah, it can't heal if we take out the source, right? The monster the only though. seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. Okay. So the general asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, the Artisanship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the tree demon appeared. Young friend. I have a suggestion. Any thoughts, Master Gongshu? Hmm. When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Hmm. Oh, great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. Well, it's easier to analyze when you're not fighting. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet, that which clasheth needeth hands to make. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Let's give it a shot, nothing to lose. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting yeah. screen What else could we do fire? at this point? Well, you're <sighs> right. Those roots never grew back. Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground. That's good to me. Oh, I was like, is that after teleport? There was only one. Okay, 
we are. Quick, there's more roots over here. Yes, I know, March Give seven. me a moment. I'll set up the device. Got more to the do. ambrosial arbor's root system must have spread far underground. The only thing we can say with confidence is that we removed the majority of those within the bounds of the artisanship commission. Let's hurry before they have a chance to grow back. So yeah. the next step is say hello to our very dear friend. Get it? Please never do that again. Kind of spice lucky to change it up a little bit. Uh, let's go. Go along. I don't know. Hope it works. Look! The roots coiled around the creation furnace! They've withered! I feel like Excellent. they're gonna grow back. Nothing can stop you now! It's it, man. Weaknesses are still the same. Do we still have the upper hand? A blade knows no mercy. Your end approaches. That paradise may savor it for me. I'm best shot. Enemy targets detected. Ready for another? There's one down. Fail to send you. Oh, this is not the correct one. On guard. Time for a shot. That's better. Unnecessary. Commencing support. A blade knows no mercy. The fight is set. Lance at the ready. Lance ablaze. Lance. Forward. So he knows what the second phase would be. Not time. Like attack boost. Enemy status net marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. We have the upper hand. Ready for another? Yeah. 
not enough of it. I'm starting to heal now, I see. Enhancing support. No. I think I'll destroy this group. This is going to be too fast. The blade knows no mercy. Yes. That's the right one. That's better. Come on. Yes. Just a little something. Oh, so she can live on this guy. Nice teamwork. I will dispatch you. Your end approaches. I think I have Pella in this one. Very useful for me to play this one. General Jing Yuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Sienjo decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. If immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe, entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, what? never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the Plague Author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried, while the fools remain immortal. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the Abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Go, friends, and stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you. You message, but you're right next to me. Why do you have to message me on the phone? Benefactor, when Ebon Deer stomped the ground, branches sprouted out of nowhere. Well, yeah, I saw. I was fighting it. Just for
wind swept complete. Desolate depths of despair, that's the next one. Expresses the cat, but there's a question. Have you heard of the lake? I'm interested. It's probably a mission. Oh, not recommending it to me. Uh, I'll come over when I have the time. I just say that. Okay, new quest. 